Hello everybody, Captain Spidey Fist here, and today I've been playing a whole bunch of Arena, trying to get that 4 star Havoc. I'm shooting for about 3.5 to 4 million, um, and it takes time, right? It is a very slow process. However, there's a couple things that you can do to kind of speed up your progress as you go through the game, and that's what I want to tell you about in this video. I'm just going to give you five, you know, little tricks that you can use in order to, you know, cut out that terrible, terrible arena grinding time. And if you have been grinding and maybe you haven't gotten the characters in the past, maybe this can help you to get start getting characters. You know, um, some of them are very obvious. I'm just going to tell you how to do it a little better. And we're just going to hop into it, right? So the first thing that I want to talk about is using your arena boost. So you get arena boost from those boost crystals uh, through doing, you know, different activities and then through you know your arenas as you get your milestones you're going to get some there also so the best thing to do with those is to wait until you're at your three star multiplier or rather three times multiplier sorry you see i got my three times there now is the time whenever you would want to use that because you're going to get the most out of that boost right so if you have a 1.5 or like the 1.25 times multiplier, on top of that three times multiplier, you're going to get more points. It's just, you know, basic math. If you were to use that, your one times multiplier, you're going to get a lot less points out of that, right? So it makes perfect sense to just wait till your three times multiplier hits. Another thing I want to talk about is let's take a look at my character's points here. Of course, everyone at this point has figured out that the higher points your characters are, the higher amount of score you're going to get per fight. So if you use your actual champion boost, they also work for arena. So we're just going to throw a couple boosts on there real quick. Uh, we'll throw this, and we'll just throw this one because i got plenty of those. And that's going to be a health and an attack. We'll hop back into the arena, go to the your little verses. We'll run back over here to Havoc. And you see now those characters are much stronger, right? Now that's 6,500, 6,400, 6,200, almost 63. And all I did was just throw two more boosts on there. And that actually ends up giving you like at that three times multiplier, you could get like an extra thousand points per character just by activating those two boosts. And you really don't have to worry about waiting till the three times multiplier on that. You can if you want. It's not the end of the world if you do it before because they last about 30 minutes, depending on which one you're using. But now the characters are going to have higher points. They're going to get more points for the score at the end of it. It's just, it's just I don't know, easy. It, it makes sense to me, so why not? Another thing is wait until you're at your three-star multiplier to actually start using your maxed out characters. Come down here, use these characters that aren't maxed out yet. You see here, these are the only four-star champions I have that are at max level and max rank. The rest of these, man, they are not that strong. So what I do is I hop on here, hit that four-star filter, and I just start at the bottom, work my way up, and as soon as I hit that three times multiplier, then I start using the four-star champions at the top. That way, you don't waste those champions at the lower level. Remember I was talking about how your champions, right, they, uh, they get more points based off how strong they are, and with that three times multiplier, it's going to make those champions much more valuable. Now, this is an optional thing, and I don't personally do it, but you can use your credits to recharge your characters and let them fight longer, and you can use a combination of the things that I've said so far. You can, you know, wait until you're at the three-star multiplier, put a arena boost on your Spider-Man, throw him in there, and then just keep refreshing him until that arena boost ends. I know a lot of people do that. However, I'm pretty stingy with my units, so that is not something that I am willing to do. And then uh, another thing is just focus on, if you want to get all of the characters for the three-star arena, don't sell your characters. Focus on duplicating them and raising them up as high as possible so that way you have a better chance in the fights. Because as you go, of course, you know the higher your multiplier and the higher your win streak, the stronger enemies they're going to throw at you and the higher difficulty they throw at you. So the stronger your characters are that you're using at those higher levels, the longer you're going to be able to keep that three times multiplier going. And then lastly, what I want to talk about is, and this is another optional thing, just like using the credits. 
there's a channel called Crafty Grinding on YouTube, and before what I was doing is I would just take whatever the milestone, the final milestone was, and I would multiply it and add 500,000. And that was that got me pretty much all the champions uh, so far that have been in the arenas, with the odd chance of like the, the new three stars and stuff like that being a little higher and me missing the cutoff. But since I started watching Crafty Grinding, I have actually gotten all of them that I've gone up for. I haven't missed one champion that I wanted, except for... Who did I not get... But I didn't get him because I just didn't have time to get him. It was Havoc. I didn't get Havoc, and that's why I'm trying to get him now. So these are just a couple hints. Uh, it'll cut down your grind time, especially in the higher arenas. These little tricks equal out to a lot, a lot of points towards your final score. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Go ahead and click that notification bell for me so that way you can stay up to date with the things that I'm doing. And I'm Captain Spidey Fist, and I'm out of here.